Hi everyone, this is James M. Prague, coming to you live from New York City, the Big Apple. How are you? How are you, everyone? How are you doing? I just finished a weekend at Omega Institute in Rhinebeck, New York, and I'm here in the Big Apple for uh, several days, uh, one, two, three, four days, and then I go off to London. I'll be in London on Friday and Saturday and Sunday, doing a workshop there on Sunday, and next Saturday I'll be doing a demonstration. Uh, so I'd love to have anyone over in England to, who sees this to come join me. The information is on my website for demonstration on Saturday night and a full workshop on Sunday. And uh, great to see you. I haven't had a moment to contact everybody on Facebook Live, but I, I am now that I'm finished work for the weekend. I'm here. And I hope all of you have seen the... Um, I'm glad to see everybody. Nice to see you all. I know you've all been and heard about my new course, the... A life tools of a highly sensitive person and I just wanted to let you know that um, it took me about a month to create that course and I created that course because when I was a little boy I was very very sensitive and um, always bullied and things would happen to me I'd see things and I couldn't tell people about them I grew up feeling very very alone which I know a lot of you are and I made the course for, for HSPs highly sensitive people who felt the same way and a lot of people that are al aligned to this type of work and spiritual work are definitely highly sensitive people. So I wanted to create this course for you, for a place to go to, to realize that you know you don't have to be overwhelmed by other people's energy, you don't have to feel alone, that there are other people like you, and you can protect yourself from people's energy as well. And you can look at your, your abilities and your sensitivity as a gift, as a unique gift for the world, for yourself in the world, and learn to live with your highly sensitive nature. Um, there's no reason why you have to get depleted or tired or or really feel responsible for other people's feelings. You know, as an HSP, we often feel so responsible for other people's feelings and we become the people pleasers and we become the doormats. And after a while in life, you begin to resent that. And you don't have to do that. You can just be yourself. You can learn to say no. One of the lessons in the course is learning how to say no, the way to say no. And... Um, I wrote down a couple of things in the course that I have uh, to take on other people's feelings and problems and own them as your own. We all do because we still feel so responsible, right? Feel so responsible for other people's happiness, other people's stuff. We have to do this in order for others to be happy. Uh, yes, yeah, send the hearts, send those hearts if this makes sense to you because I'm sure it does. I mean, I create it because I know a lot of you would be able to relate to this. Do you feel oversensitive, like a lot of energy coming to you when you're not sure? You know, I'm overwhelmed, I, I, I can't control the energy, I feel too much, I go into a space and I feel so much energy, what do I do with that energy? How can I not have all that energy all the time? Why do I always have to be open and aware? You don't have to be. There are ways you can protect that energy. And in Life Tools, I, I talk about that. So um, a highly sensitive person or empath, it's a special gift for you. It's a special gift that you have to, to help yourself and others. And if you don't know how to balance yourself, you can live a life kind of imbalanced and feel kind of out of it and never feel right. And it also can affect you physically. It can affect your physical health, your mental health, your emotional health, if you don't feel at peace, if you don't feel balanced. So I created the Life Tools for the Highly Sensitive Person because of those reasons, for many reasons about fitting in, feeling over-responsible for other people's stuff, um, feeling you always going to be the yes person, always be the most mature one in the family, um, always trying to make people feel better, don't have to do that. It's not, it's not your responsibility. But that's really the traits of a highly sensitive person. Um, so I feel like when I was doing this course, I felt like a lot of people felt stuck and didn't know how to get out of that. And I just finished this course at Omega Institute in Rhinebeck. And the course was about really a visit to the spirit world and working with the spirit world. But a lot of the people in the course, a lot of them, a good 90% of the people were highly sensitive people. And I kept on referring back to this course I just created, Life Tools of a Highly Sensitive Person, because I knew they could relate. I met a man there named Don from New Jersey. And he came up to me and he said, I didn't know all about this stuff, but I felt you know energy my whole life. I didn't know what to do with it until I came here this weekend. And uh, he understood, I started talking about this, the life tools, the highly sensitive person. He related to all of it. And he said, I'm gonna look it up because I, I really have to. It's, it's almost like I feel like a lifeline for highly sensitive people. It's a place that so many of us don't feel we, we have a place to go to, that we have other people that speak the same language we do. So that's why I created the course, 
So I, I'm on here to, to tell you about that. And also, because of this course, um, I also included in this, a lot of people pick up other people's energy. You know, thoughts are things. Thoughts are like bullets. When someone thinks of you, that thought goes directly to its target, and that target might be you. So I often ask people, how many people, you know, take a shower or bath every day, right? So you clean your concern about the physical cleanliness of the physical body. What about your soul? What about the auric space around you? What about this wonderful space all around you, the colors and the, the bubble around you? How often is that clean? Or do other people's energy sit and stay on that space or in that space? I once did a reading for a lady many, many years ago in California, and I opened the door to my apartment, and she walked in crying and depressed and upset, and she said, what's wrong with me, James? What's wrong with me? I'm depressed all the time. I can't sleep. I can't think correctly. What's wrong with me? And I told her, it's not what's wrong with you. It's who's wrong with you. Whose energy are you picking up? What negative energy is affecting you? What energy is not in balance with who you are? A different vibration, a lower frequency than yourself. So she sat down, I spoke to her, and as I was speaking to her, I started pulling away, taking away other people's energy from her space, because I could see clairvoyantly these dark stains and these holes in her auric field. And I started pulling stuff away without her really knowing it, putting it down to Mother Earth to be recycled to love. And about 10 minutes later, she said, are you doing something to me because I feel like my old self again? And all I was doing was I was taking away someone else's energy in her space and giving her more room in her aura for her own soul's energy, her own aura, her own, her own light to grow and expand in her own space to come back to her own power. So a lot of times we give our power away and we decrease our power. And if we're not aware of people's energy in our space, it will affect us if we don't take care of that. So with this life tools of a highly sensitive per person, um, what I also included, and I just put this in here today, is um, a seven-day cleanse. It's a seven-day cleanse of ridding yourself of negative energy. So I, I, it was a channel process. I went into a meditative state, worked with, some, my, with several guides of mine, healing guides, uh, actually four healing guides I worked with, and they channeled through me uh, information on letting go of negative energy around you, someone else's energy, how to recognize someone's energy in your space. So right now I can just tell you an exercise to do. So as you're watching, close your eyes, close your eyes, and just be mindful of the space above you all the way to the right side in the corner of the room and to the left side. And as you scan that space, do you see a face of someone? Do you feel an energy of someone? Do you feel a pocket of energy there? Does it feel clear and clean? Or does it feel cloudy? Or does it feel dark? Or does it feel wavy? Does it feel like someone else's energy is around you there? And also on the left side, does it feel like there's other energy there? Maybe foreign energy that's not right to you. Are you not aware of that energy that's in that space on the left side? And now you can imagine behind you, there's like psychic eyes in the back of our eyes, you know, the back of our heads, those psychic eyes. Imagine all those people that send you thoughts and you don't see them, who are hooked into you, clammed into you, and taking really your prana, we call them the psychic vampires. They pull the prana. A vampire is someone who sucks the blood of life, right? This prana, the blood is the prana, the source of life. It's this energy. And people are many times unaware of that. So with a seven day energy cleanse, I've given you several processes each day specifically to go through to rid yourself. Number one, recognize the energy. How to recognize a foreign energy in your space. How to open that up and bring back your own energy and how also to rid yourself of that energy and protect yourself, be mindful and responsible for the space around you. And how to know when you're walking into a space and you're picking up someone's energy. Or how do you know when someone is thinking of you? It's a subtle whisper, a subtle feeling that you get. So in the seven day energy cleanse, I include that. It's all the tools that you will need to become aware of negative energy in your space, foreign energy in your space, and how to rid yourself of that. So um, the seven day energy cleanse is part of the lifetime tools for the highly sensitive person. It's all a part of it. I want to give you all these tools to really use in everyday life, especially in a world right now where it's chaotic and kind of crazy out there and people are kind of freaking out left and right. Like what's going on, what's going on? See, the first thing you can do in order to change the 
maximum, you have to change the minimum. So the macrocosm can be changed only when you first start changing the microcosm. One's got to be responsible for the microcosm. So you have to learn and be responsible for cleansing the space. Remember, this is a sacred space around us, and we have to be responsible for that sacred space. That's our job here on earth, to really have a sacred space for the soul. You know, I was raised Catholic, and I got to tell you, um, I don't relate a lot to it, but certain things I certainly do. And one is the church. When I walk into a church, I feel very sacred. And that's the same thing with the space around me. I feel that same sacredness around me. And now I'm very, very careful of who I spend time with, where I put my energy, because guess what? You need to be with people who empower you, not disable you. And you have to learn to be able to say, I'm sorry, but I can't be with you right now. I have, to, I have to be somewhere else. Or be able to say, no, I'm sorry, that's not working for me. Or when someone yells at you or treats you a certain way, you say, stop, I'm sorry, that's inappropriate for me. I don't accept that. So the seven energy day energy cleanse includes that. Um, so I, I really think it's a good one. It's an important one. I really would advise you to take the, the life tools for the sensitive person, which includes that seven day energy cleanse. The first day starts is tomorrow. Um, it's 50% off now, and the price of it's gonna go up in about three weeks. So it's 50% off the total thing. So it's worth it, it's, it's under $200, it's nothing. But it's really important, it's more important that I did this course because so many people wanted this type of, they call it protection. I don't like to use the word protection because protection really conjures up all kinds of images of something evil and demonic and possessive and all that sort of thing. And that's not what we're talking about. We're just talking about foreign energy. We're just talking about where you put your mind space. Where do you put the mind set? You're focused with the mind. The mind is part of the soul. And you have to be very responsible where you place your mind and what is in your sacred space. So anyway, I hope that helps you. And um, I'm really happy to be here with you. Hello, Larry. Hello, Sue. Hello, Anthony. Thank you. You're very welcome. I hope that helps you and hope you check it out. Uh, it's on the JVP School of Mystical Arts, of course, my school page. You can check out that. Um, it's a reinforcement. Where do we just get energy? cleanse. Go to the, yeah, the life tool, life tools for the highly sensitive person. Check that out and uh, you will find, you'll find out exactly everything I describe about the seven day energy cleanse on there. Okay. Love you back. Thank you, Debbie. Thank you, Francis. Nice to see you. And Janet, nice to see you as well. Hi, Susan. I'll be on a lot more because I'm here and I'm off work for three days. So I'm happy before I go to London. I go to London on Thursday. And I teach in London on Saturday and Sunday. So I'm here for a few days and I'll check in with everybody. And um, I would like to check in with you if you do the energy cleanse, if you do that tomorrow, tomorrow night, maybe check in with you, see how you feel about the first day of the energy cleanse. So go to the JVP School of Mystical Arts.com and, and check it out. Okay. Hi, Beverly from, from, from Pennsylvania. Yes. I'll see you Sunday. Oh, very good. I'll see you Sunday, London, Jane. Great. Looking forward to seeing you in London. Oh, thank you for the amazing weekend, Parker. Uh, yes, thank you, Parker. <laughs> yes, we had a great time this weekend at Omega. It was a wonderful healing weekend, so thank you, Parker, for being part of that and for everybody who was there. And um, I'll check in with everybody tomorrow. So thank you. Have a wonderful evening, and um, think about what I've said, and blessings to you. Love and light. Bye-bye.